Hi, I'm Ian Sweeney. As chair of the ADRA UK board, I recently took a tour of the programs that ADRA has been conducting in the country of Burkina Faso. For the last six years now, ADRA UK has been working with subsistence farmers living in rural villages in this impoverished country of Africa. With few natural resources, its landlocked status and general underdevelopment, Burkina is a country facing many challenges. The United Nations ranks Burkina as one of the poorest countries of the world. Depleted soils, desertification and frequent droughts give meagre returns for many of Burkina's farmers. Children suffer from malnutrition. Without access to clean drinking water, about 24,000 children in Burkina die every year from diarrhea alone. Please join with me as we discover how ADRA is forever changing the lives of these forgotten people in a forgotten land. First up on our schedule was to meet a prominent chief. I would like to ask you, what difference has ADRA made to your life? ADRA has brought a lot of changes to the village of Suli. One of the very first things ADRA did for the community was dig wells and provide us with a deep borehole. The next thing that ADRA did was provide training programs that showed us how to live better. They showed us how to grow new and better crops and how to make extra income from our land. One of the most amazing things that ADRA has introduced to us is a legume plant called Makuna. ADRA brought us the seeds and told us all of the benefits of growing Makuna, how it would actually fertilize our soil in a natural way. We were a little skeptical at first, but after five years of working with Makuna, we have found out that everything that they said about this miracle crop was true. I learned that growing Makuna is very easy. You simply plough your field, you plant the Makuna seeds and forget about it until it is time to plough it under. After just one season of Makuna, you can then grow any crop you want and get an excellent harvest in that field for the next three years. Before leaving the village, I had the chance to speak to the chief's wife. Please tell us about how Adra has improved the lot of the women in, in, in your village. The women of Suli have really appreciated the water that Adra has brought us. During the dry season, we would often have to walk seven kilometers every day to find water. Now we can wake up and just walk 200 meters to fetch clean drinking water. The other big improvement that ADRA has brought into our lives is the fuel-efficient cooking stoves. These have really reduced the workload of the women here. We used to have to walk very far every day just to find enough firewood to cook our meals. Now. With this new design for our stoves, we only use about 10% of the firewood that we used to use. The traditional way to cook food here in Burkina was to get three stones together to hold your pot and then build a fire under that. Exposed to the open air and wind, this method required a lot of firewood every day. By building a simple enclosure around the traditional three stones, they now only need a few twigs to get a hot fire that would cook the meal quickly and efficiently. Now that we are no longer spending most of our day fetching water and firewood, we now have the time to work on income generating projects that ADRA has shown us how to do. Many of the women of our village are now making money by growing vegetables and selling the produce in a local market. I'm just heading towards a dam that ADRA built in 2009. Evidently, it has really transformed the lives of the people who live in and around this community. After a brief hike through green pastures and gardens, I found it. A beautiful oasis in a once very dry region of Burkina. What has made the difference? A simple concrete and stone wall to hold the rainwater that falls during the rainy season. 
This creates this beautiful reservoir that serves the surrounding villages all the way through the dry season without ever running dry. Since Adra constructed this dam, how has your life and the life of the communities changed? This reservoir has been a wonderful help to us in several ways. First of all, it's providing drinking water for all of our animals to drink, especially through the dry season. This means that we're now able to raise more animals, which in turn provides more food and more income. Secondly, we're able to raise fish in the reservoir, not only for our own use, but also as a way to make income. The dam has raised the water table of the whole area around the reservoir, and we're now able to grow many crops and vegetables that we were not able to before, including rice. As we continued our tour, we ran into another farmer that showed us around his fields. I first got the idea to plant trees on my farm from Adra. When they started working here, about six years ago, they took a bunch of us to another region in Burkina that had recently become a complete desert because all of the trees had been taken from the land. We could see that the same thing was starting to happen in our own province, and it really motivated us to do something to save our fields. Adra got us some seedlings and helped us to get started. It's been a lot of hard work, but it is really paying off. Trees not only help prevent soil erosion, they also bring income. They provide firewood, they have fruit that can be sold in the market, and some of the trees have leaves and roots that can be used and sold for medicinal purposes. With so much deforestation going on in our world, it was nice to see firsthand a program that is promoting reforestation. Adra UK has now completed two projects in Burkina Faso and recently started a third with the support of the European Commission. The total cost of these programs is approximately 3 million euros. 75% of that funding comes from the EC and 25% comes from the Adra Annual Appeal. What this means is that when you give to Adra, your donation is often matched many times over by our partners in government. Thank you. What, do you, what are your expectations? What are the European Union's expectations of NGOs? In terms of like development aid, they are a very important uh, partner for us to implement our uh, practice in the various regions in Burkina Faso, but also regionally. They have an expertise which is not always present uh, at government level. They bring new approaches uh, in terms of like implementing uh, projects. They are also like a, a source of information about like what's going on on the field. The assistance that we've received from ADRA UK, the European Union and other donors has been very important. The programs that ADRA is doing in terms of reforestation soil conservation, land reclamation and water systems have directly met the real needs of the people. We're all very grateful to the partnership that we have with the European Union and ADRA UK and look forward to a bright future as we continue to work together. I'd like to thank you for joining with us as we've just visited some of the communities here in Burkina Faso and, and seeing some of the tremendous work that ADRA has, is conducting. And, and certainly I'm leaving here with a renewed determination to, to support ADRA both in my prayers and financially. I hope that you've begun to capture some of the essence of the great work, the great ministry that ADRA is conducting. Hey,